everybody. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I appreciate every bit of support I can get. Um, so I just wanted to give a quick PSA on here. For anybody that may be traveling in or through the Nevada area and you typically park on BLM land, this is for you. So apparently right now they're having an issue with people that are staying way longer than the two week period, especially in the Sparks and Reno area. And because of that, they're saying, oh, we don't have enough employees to monitor it. All overnight camping on the BLM land in Sparks and Reno right now is going to be closed the beginning of April. And then after that, they're going to start shutting more BLM land in the Nevada area down. Nevada. So, yeah, I just wanted to give a heads up just in case you're planning on coming through here. Hopefully this doesn't start happening everywhere, but now you know. And uh, it's unfortunate. Because a lot of people need that. But I'll let you get back to the video now. You get to go back outside for a few, okay? Mwah. Yes, I love you, babe. It's not ready to start yet. Okay? <laughs> We're going to wait another, like, 45 minutes to an hour and then try the best again. <laughs> Next up is moving all of the wood and stuff that is not, oh my God, that is not uh, actually attached to the bus yet and is loose so that it doesn't fall over when I go to move the bus. So like, you know, there's some wood over here and stuff. I'm also gonna move these tiny little dressers out. And over here we have some two by sixes. might fall out of the windows. This is what I was helping with weather to block the windows. They might fall out, so I'm even taking those out. I'm gonna go ahead, I have an extension cord that's running to the bus for the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook that, make sure the cords to the solar panels are tucked in. Next step's trying to start the bus to get here in a few minutes. take some wood and put the wood under the front and back tires and then try to drive up onto it and then check to see how level it is.
Um, this might be a little too much, but if it is, then I'll back it up and I'll probably have to cut some extra scrap wood. We'll see. But I'm gonna try this. level check it yes I am super pumped so I feel good about this it was where I had to stop it all of a sudden earlier it, it dude the the floor was like this so it was like I felt like I was in a fun house you know what I mean so god it feels so much better next step is getting stuff ready to get up on the roof again and uh, do the like extra supports down the sides so Well, my laundry. So I really wanted to, sorry. I really wanted to get up on the roof today and go ahead and start putting up the uh, supports on the sides. But the wind has been like at least 25 miles an hour most of the day. And if any of you have been up on a schooly roof before, um, that gets a little dicey feeling. And so it's, it's down to about 15 now, so I tried to get up there, and it's still little gusts that I feel like are a little bit stronger than that, but it's sadly still feeling a little iffy. Plus the wind's cold, which sucks, but I'm going to wait it out a little bit longer. Hopefully, I'm just, I really want to get up there and get it done, but uh, I get nervous going up and down the ladder and then walking around on the roof when... It's real windy like that, especially when you're having to work right on the edge of the curve of the bus. I guess wait a f little bit longer. It's it's saying on the weather app that it's not supposed to die down until like 8 o'clock. And I'm like, where it gets down to like 5 miles per hour winds. And I was like, well, obviously it gets dark at 6, so that's not happening. But hopefully it slows down. I have a tattoo tomorrow, so I won't be able to do it tomorrow. Um... But yeah, I really want to get up there today and get it done. We'll see, I guess, is what I'm saying. Good afternoon, everyone. I feel... I'm having one of those days where I feel really rough and just tired, you know? I don't feel like doing anything today, but... I'm going to get up on the roof and I'm going to attach those supports. It's just taking every bit of me to like actually get up there and do it. I mean, there's, I don't know what the reasoning is, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I'm feeling, I'm just feeling really blah today for some reason, but I'm going to get up there though. And I'm going to start working on these supports. <laughs>
my battery just died. But this is this is where I'm at. I just started screwing these in. Like seriously, the first one I started screwing in on the inside, the battery died. So unfortunately, I don't have any backup battery uh, backup batteries that are charged. So I'm going to have to go charge this and wait. Good grief. And I'm back. Battery is charged. All right. All right, so half of the bus is officially done with the supports. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. And so now I have the, I need two more two by sixes for this back section here, one on each side. And I have them, luckily, because I don't have a truck. Luckily I already have them, but the only problem is I do have to go get some paint for them because I did completely run out of the paint. We'll see if I can muster up the uh, socializing stuff to go do that tonight. If not, I'm gonna do it. Good morning everybody! I hope everybody is doing great. So I obviously did not go last night to Home Depot, but that's okay. I feel so much better today. I'm in such a better mood and I'm gonna go in and get pick up this paint and get started painting those last couple two by sixes. Yeah, so I forgot Valspar. I must have got that at Lowe's. So it looks like I'm gonna head to Lowe's now because Home Depot does not have that brand. I'd rather get the same one. Audrey, where is it? Well, you say you don't know, but I don't know if I believe you. Hi, Star. What you doing? I'm so excited, do, 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 just can't hide it. Yeah, I finally got, that was offbeat. We're ignoring that part. Anyway, I'm happy, not only because I got all the supports done today, which is amazing, and I feel so good knowing that that's all done, because now I just have to, you know, start putting planks on, obviously stain them, there's other things involved, but that was the bulk of it. It started, like, the rest of it should go a lot smoother and easier. But anyway, I fixed dinner. Cause I'm starving. I haven't really eaten much at all today. And let me tell you something, dude. Sriracha mayo is the shiznit. Like, oh, it's so good. You're like, oh, I just have rice and peanuts. Don't worry about it. Put some sriracha mayo in there. Gourmet. So good. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this week's vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I super appreciate it. And if you don't mind and you dug it, you know, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you may not be getting notifications. I'm not a big channel. I'm small. So any little bit will definitely help me out. And don't forget to hit the bell so you can get the notifications when I post. But I'm going to be posting every Sunday. And I'll see you then.